Okay, so the creation of a material it's a very simple task. All you have to bear in mind is that uh, every geometry that we put inside of B ray needs to have a or inside of Rhino needs to have a material, something to display. If you don't put a material, B, B ray will automatically assume that your geometry is white. But eventually it will be a matte white without any reflection, without anything. So, you know, it's not recommendable. Now, I'm going to put a sphere inside my viewport just as a reference. It's a geometry that I keep there so that I can apply the material to. Now, let's create a very simple white. I click on M right click inside this little area so M it's basically the material command for V-Ray now you're gonna have the, the materials that we have created together in this case I can simply delete them to delete the material I click delete then right click here create material we're gonna work only with the standard material we're not gonna use any other material so this is a problem less double click on default material and I'm gonna call this white now white only has two characteristics a color which I can decide in here and a reflection which I have to give myself so the color as we already mentioned if it's white or black it's never full white or never full black so I could go into something like 225 for white and the reflection it's given by another layer which I have to create myself so I go to the white material right click create layer reflection so now I have a reflection inside if I click on white and then preview I'm gonna have a preview of how this material looks like now if we wanna have something glossy like this then it's fine I can leave it like that but actually a normal white would have probably a reflection coefficient here of like point two maybe let's do a small preview yeah there you go you see I have a little bit of reflection on the side that's fine the highlight and reflect the glossiness should actually be connected it should be only one value in the newest version of V-Ray you're gonna have only one value in this case you have two values the important thing is to know that you keep them connected now an organic material just like um, um, a white wall would have an highlight glossiness of something like 0.6 now the material is created all I have it's a little bit of a reflection a color well, what I need to do is to right click here and say apply material to selection now the material doesn't display and this is because of Rhino so what do I need to do to display the material? I click on the object that I want the material to display to. Click and hold this uh, button here. Go to set object shading attributes. Change the mode from use view to rendered. And now I have the material applied. Now in a material like this you're not gonna see it 100%. But say if I use a concrete you're gonna see it better. I'm just gonna do a test render to make sure that everything is fine I'm recording a video, yes So this is how you create a, a very basic white. That's all. Now let's do the same thing with the concrete. Let's create a brand new material. I just showed you. How do we do this? Right click, create, uh, sorry, right click, right click on, sorry, on a scene material, create material, standard. Double click, we call this concrete. 
and on concrete, just like we did with the white, instead of using a color, I'm going to click on this little M. M stands for map, because it could be a bitmap, for instance. And instead of none, we are going to put a bitmap. In this case, I've already downloaded a concrete picture from the internet. I put it into the folder that we all share. So I'm going to go and use it, concrete. And I'm going to click on OK. So now if I click on concrete and then preview, I'm going to see the preview of my material. Now, if I want to apply this to my sphere, I click the sphere, right click on the concrete, apply material to selection. And as you can see, the material is there. Now, the concrete by itself, without a reflection, it's not going to look that good. We can make a very quick test render. Actually, I'm going to focus only on the concrete itself. Let's re-render. There you go, so it's faster. I don't know if it crashed. I don't see it reacting. No, it's still recording. There you go. Yes. So it got shy for a second. OK, as you can see already onto the surface, there is no much happening. The surface is a very flat, even rough surface. I'll let it render a little bit. Maybe I pause this because you don't need to see the thing again. So you can see the surface is very flat. OK, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a comparison gonna render only this area now so that we can have a quick comparison let me just clean up a little bit the image a little bit more there you go I'm gonna stop this now and I'm gonna go back to the concrete now, if I want to have a reflection, I right click and say create layer reflection, preview. The reflection will be home again uh, everywhere. So what I want to do, I want to go and change the highlight and reflection. Let's put it somewhere around 0.7. Let's try. I'm going to click on preview. You can see it's already much nicer. And then inside the reflection itself you see there is an M so there is a, m uh, a map inside this map it's called Fresnel which is a an effect and I'm going to change the IOR so the index of reflection to something like 3 this is something that you have to learn by heart because it's a value that it's given to concrete okay you find all other materials with similar values like wood, for instance, or um, some types of um, paint as well. So I click on OK. And now if I do a... Uh, let's lower a little bit the uh, angle of this. Let's put it to something like 0.5. If I now do a test render, so I can compare it with the other half. You're going to see that the light distribution on the surface, it's much, much cleaner. And you can do this with every single material. Wood has the same. Um, metal has the same. With metal, there are a little bit different coefficients. You should research this by yourself. The other option is to find materials which are already done. But I've explained to you already all the parameters that you need to know to take a material that is already made and being able to change it. Okay? So if we already compare this half with the other half, probably on the screen here you cannot really tell, but the light distribution on the material itself is much better and the material looks so much more realistic. Okay? 
Okay, actually this is everything that there is to know about materials. Please do not get worried. Once you start working with it, you'll figure it out. It's as simple as that. Okay? I'm gonna stop the recording now.